Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing 50 DIYs for back to school that you guys need to try. If you guys are new to my channel, subscribe down below and let this video, can, okay, so it's 50 DIYs, can we do, because I spent so much time on this video, can we do 10,000 thumbs up, you guys? That would be so cool. And yeah, so I actually did 30 DIYs from back to school as well recently. That is linked down below. Go check it out after this video. I am having another giveaway. Um, I'm going to extend my past giveaway on what's right here on the screen. I'm going to extend that giveaway until September 1st. So you have until then. It's only on Instagram. You have to go follow me on Instagram and repost the picture on the screen. And yeah, you're entered to win. So yeah. Enter the giveaway, go do it. Someone's gonna win it, go try. Here are my 50 DIYs. So this first DIY is a pineapple case. So this is for like your pencils and your pens, all your goodies, all the stuff, it's really cute. I will have all these DIYs linked down below, you guys. They are so, so freaking cute. I am proud of the findings, I really am. Right, so my hair is insane, but it's fine. So this next DIY is a pencil stirrer. So if you want to joke your friends out and like fake them out, it looks like it's a piece of, um, like it's like an actual like yellow straw and they have foil and like pink tissue paper on top of it. So there's really no point to this DIY, but it's really funny. This next DIY is perfect for your locker, for your dorm room, for your actual room in that case. You can just take tape on a bulletin board and paint over it. And you have this really awesome, like abstract looking thing for your locker or for your room, like I said, and it's so easy to do. This next DIY is how to make your own marble stationery. Um, so what you do is I believe you take this kind of like concoction, of course it's linked down below, and you can put it over paper and it leaves this really cool marble effect and you have DIY marble paper. This next DIY is to take some glitter washi tape and put it around the top of your pencil. This next DIY is by Meg DeAngelis and you guys, this DIY is just so cute I think and she did it forever ago. I'll have her video linked down below. Um, she put a bunch of hair bands over a water bottle and it just looks so cool. Next DIY is to take washi tape and put it over paper and you have a really cute bookmark, very simple, very easy. This next DIY is to put washi tape over a clipboard and you can kind of decorate it however you would like and they have all the different kind of like designs on them. This next DIY is to put washi tape over your charger. You can put washi tape over a hole puncher and even washi tape over a laptop case. So you have three DIYs right there. This next DIY is so inventive in my opinion. It is a toilet paper roll pencil case and it just looks so cute. So this next DIY is a pencil case made out of a PVC pipe. What? What? <laughs> this next DIY you put, it's like a mosaic. So it looks like all you do is you take a crushed up glass or like a CD. You can glue it all over a pencil cup or just any cup in general. These next three DIYs are all pencil cases. One of them is made out of jean and you can take a jean pocket. Really cute, really easy. This next one is a crochet pencil. This next pencil case DIY is a piano. Once again, you just need black and white yarn or any kind of like material fabric. This next DIY is a watercolor backpack. So, so, so cute. So watercoloring is actually so, so easy and you can totally hit the link down below. I will have all these DIYs linked like one through 50 and they have descriptions of what they are. You can find them easier. DIY, I'm sorry I keep saying that. So, all you need for this is you can take a mason jar and make a little like tumbler cup for coffee and there's a really cool like way to do this. This next DIY, number 20 of the DIYs, is a composition mason jar. All you need is like paint and a mason jar. It's like $5 altogether. So cheap. This next DIY is an emoji notebook. Print off some emojis, them inside of a notebook cover. This next DIY is an Oreo pencil case. For this, you literally just need an Oreo wrapper and you can just use that plastic and turn it into a pencil case. You do need to get a zipper. This next DIY is for all of you moms out there slash if you wanna just be a kid forever, like myself, 
you can make this first day of school DIY picture frame. It's made out of like crayons and has cool like tape on it. Okay, so I was actually on YouTube and I saw this really cool um, video. It was by a girl named Cute Polish and it was like back to school nails and they just looked so cool. This next DIY is a flash drive made out of an eraser. Like what internet? What is this? I don't know, but it looks so cool. This next DIY is a cupcake notebook, which just looks so cute. It's adorable. It, it's right here. It's somewhere on the screen. It's adorable. Look how cute this is. And like on your desk, in your locker, down. This next DIY is a chocolate bar calculator. Really cool. Really interesting how this works out, honestly. It's linked down below. It's really cool looking. This next DIY is a hedgehog pencil holder. Like what, girl, what? You know, I believe you could make this the hard way or the easy way. You could do it out of clay. You could do it out of wood. You could carve it into like a hedgehog. I would do clay, it's probably easier. This next DIY for school is also um, nail related and it is a pencil nail polish look, so cute. These next three DIYs are all um, USBs. There are chocolate, macaroon, and sushi USB DIYs linked down below. What? So cool. Um, these are all just like food related I think, but also like, they're really cool. This next one is to decorate your calculator with washi tape. The infamous washi tape to save the day. Yeah! This next DIY shows you how to make your own marble composition book. You can kind of take my last DIY of how to make stationery and put that on a composition book. And you're just gonna have a great, really cool book. Like, that's so cute. Leaping off our marble effect, we have the next DIY being a coffee cup that is marble. We took um, paint and water, they dipped the coffee cup on the inside, and it was marble. This next DIY is tie-dye shoes, kind of like a back-to-school clothing DIY. You can totally get some plain white vans, like the dollar store, and that's like literally so much cheaper. Don't buy like, $80 shoes from like who knows where. DIY is a rainbow fan. What? Kind of like for your dorm room if you wanted to have that kind of thing, or even like in your locker if you want, if you're really fancy about it. Um, you can tell you can what you can do is you can color the actual propeller like blade of the fan, like red, blue, green, and yellow. And you have, when it turns on, it has, a, it has like a rainbow look to it, which is just so cool. DIY yeah, is McDonald's inspired pencils. And I actually saw Haley Williams did this with pencils. And I was like, oh my gosh. So when I found this DIY on Pinterest, I was like, wait, this is what she did. So I will have that, her video linked down below and the pin for what I found. This next DIY is a s'mores paper clip. What? What? Definitely just paint over some um, brown paper. This 40th DIY is fruit notes. Like what? You can just cut out. Um, it's linked down below. Describing it, it's hard, but it's really cool looking on the website. So try it. This next DIY is a sandwich pen. What? This can be made out of clay if you want to. Um, clay and some nice paint and some nice little texturization. Oh yes. This next DIY is made out of Dorito bags. All you need is Dorito bags and a notebook and you can tape the bag over the notebook and you have this really awesome notebook out of Dorito. This next DIY is a, what I'm calling a get ready with me station. And this station can have anything that you need, your car keys, your makeup, your last minute stuff all around a mirror. So all you need for this is a mirror and some hooks and you have this really easy way to get all of your stuff for the morning in one location in like a visual way. This next DIY, all you need to do is color coordinate your notebooks from the top in your backpack in that case. And you're gonna see that and be like, okay, I need this class and this class and this class. And you pick it up and you're good to go and it's great and it's just awesome. <laughs> this next DIY is made out of Capri Suns and really cool, you take the Capri Sun packaging and tape it around a pencil case and a zipper. It's super easy, it's so cute. This next DIY is an infamous pencil holder. This one is so cool though, I couldn't pass it up. Look at how cool it is, it's so cool. Look at that DIY. Hey, this next and 47th Light, no, light hack, same, <laughs> is a DIY um, ice pack for your lunchbox. And yeah, I feel like I've never seen anyone do this before. So like, try it out. And if you do, tag me in it. It's really cool looking. This next DIY is a book cover to the next level. 
it's very like origami looking in your notebook or your book cover and it looks so cool. This next DIY is a organization station for your stuff. All your getting ready stuff. Okay, this last in 50th, 50th DIY. Oh, I'm sorry. A cereal box mail pouch. It's really kind of weird, but if you wanted to use this as like a pencil case, if you are younger watching this video and you want to use it as like an actual purse, like how cute is that actually? And you're feeling creative, you're feeling artsy. Do this DIY. All right, so we just did 50 freaking DIYs for back to school. If you guys want more of these kind of things, give it a thumbs up for me. Let's try and get to 10,000 likes in this video. That'd be so cool, you guys, so cool. Let's do it. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram to enter my giveaway, and yeah, guys, I will see you guys with a new video very soon, probably tomorrow, tomorrow for sure. Hey, what the, it's a hack video. So yeah, guys, I'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye.